Open the pack and tip it out on the road nice and slow. Can't do that. And to the dust we shall return. I do all my own fights. Actually, I take a step back. I fight, uh, I think it's 16 guys at once. But this is beyond doing your own stunt, you know. This is more doing your own fights, hitting every mark and making sure it looks real. And that's a whole other form of, of acting there. All right, we're going to do it the hard way. Action! You know, you hear actors, well, I did my own stunts. You've been hearing that for years. What's different about Denzel is we weren't going, okay, punch him, cut. It was going for a minute straight. He was fighting. <laughs> Jeff Amato, who is our fight coordinator, has done a lot of great sequences in movies. He did the work on a Fight Club and The Last Samurai and the Born Identity films. I was fortunate to work with uh, Jeff Amato and Danny Inosanto for about four or five months before we starting shooting. Danny Asano was basically Bruce Lee's partner. They worked hand in hand and, and trained together. Way back in 1968, martial art was coming into the stunt industry at that, that time with uh, Bruce Lee, and he tried to make it as realistically yet entertainingly as possible. That takes an effort, that takes focus, that takes talent. And in the case of Denzel playing the part, he has all three. Basically, I put him into a crash course into all different aspects of fighting. There tends to be a lot of violence in this project. I am very impressed with Denzel Washington because watching other people trying to learn the same techniques, they sometimes take maybe two months to learn the same things that he was learning in just one session. The important thing for Eli is how to defend yourself because it's about efficiency for him. I don't want to be so Okay. Through his travels, he's probably met people who are very efficient and also very knowledgeable in specific martial arts styles. But Eli has a very street-oriented style of fighting. He's equipped to handle any situation with several things in his backpack and around him, whether it be a modified machete, shotgun, grenades. Name it, he has a lot of stuff. But I think his experience is his, his best guide on this mission. And his desire to protect this book and to do what he's been charged to do, he gets to a place where his anger is taken over. Like, he's bringing it, so you better be ready.